day two. Today, we are going to study addition without regrouping and its addition concept and its properties. What is addition or what do we mean by addition? Okay, so addition is the process whereby we put objects or numbers together. Okay, now let's have our first example. 52 plus 46. In adding number, kids, we are going to start from right to left. So, we're going to start from the ones place. 2 plus 6. Then, look at the big number, which is digit 6. So, 6 on your mind, then add 2 more. 6 on your mind, 6, 7, 8. So, 2 plus 6 is equals to 8. Let's proceed to the tens place. 5 plus 4. So, again, look at the big number, which is 5. 5 in your mind, then add 4 more. 5 on your mind, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9. So, 5 plus 4 is equals to 9. The sum of 52 plus 46 is equals to 98. How about if we have 574 plus 425? Again, we are going to start from the ones place. 4 plus 5. Let's look at the big number, 5 in your mind, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 4 plus 5 is equals to 9. Let's proceed to the tens place, 7 plus 2. Look at the big number, digit 7. 7 on your mind, 7. 8, 9. So, 7 plus 2 is equals to 9. Let's proceed to the hundreds place. 5 plus 4. Big number, 5 on your mind. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 5 plus 4 is equals to 9. The sum of 574 plus 425 is equals to 999. Let's have another example. 574 plus 22. Again, we are going to start from the ones place. 4 plus 2. Look at the big number. 4 on your mind. 4 5, 6. 4 plus 2 is equals to 6. Let's proceed to the tens place. Look at the big number, digit 7. 7 on your mind. 7, 8, 9. 7 plus 2 is equals to 9. Let's proceed to the hundreds place. Since we do not have digit at the bottom of digit 5, we will bring down the digit 5 because 5 plus 0 is equals to 5. So this sum of 574 plus 22 is equals to 596. Let's have our last example. 4,000. 502 plus 397. Let's start from the ones place. 2 plus 7. Look at the big number. 7 on your mind. 7, 8, 9. 2 plus 7 equals to 9. Then, 
zero plus nine equals nine. Because any number that you added by zero, the sum is a number itself. How about five plus three? Look at the big number, five on your mind, five, six, seven, eight. Five plus three is equals to eight. Then, then, lastly, digit four. We will bring it down. So the sum of 4,502 plus 397 is equals to 4,899. Now, let us study the addition properties. There are two addition properties. They are zero property of addition. Let us take the numbers. 4 and 0. If we add 4 to 0, we get the sum of 4. And even if we add 0 to 4, we get the sum of 4. This tells us that when 0 is added to any number or any number is added to 0, the sum is the number itself. Number 2. Order property of addition. Let us take the numbers 14 and 32. When we add 14 plus 32, we get the sum of 46. Now, let us change the order of addends. Let us add 32 plus 14. Again, we get the sum of 46. 14 plus 32 equals 32 plus 14. Thus, we know that changing the order of an addends does not change the sum. This order property of addition is also called the commutative property of addition. Uh, grade 2, would you like to have some trivia? Yes. Did you know that the only number that has all its letters arranged in alphabetical order is the number 40? Yes, you're correct. When you spell 40, it would be F O R. T Y 40. Bye, grade 2. I hope you enjoyed the addition concept and the trivia. Bye.